the daughter of a Presbyterian minister, Mildred McAfee was born on May 12, 1900, in Parkville, Missouri. As a young girl, she was heavily influenced by her family's focus on both education and faith. She attended Vassar College, where she studied English, sociology, and economics. She also played both hockey and basketball and was involved in the student government and the school's Christian Association. During her time at Vassar, she earned the reputation as a student devoted to her studies and as an enthusiastic leader. After she graduated, McAfee taught elementary and middle school for three years. McAfee's passion for knowledge continued, and in 1928, she earned a master's degree in sociology from the University of Chicago. McAfee then worked at Center College, serving as professor of sociology and dean of women until 1932. In 1936, she became one of the youngest college presidents in the United States when she was appointed president of Wellesley College, one of the seven sisters' women's colleges in the Northeast. On July 30th, 1942, with heavy influence from Eleanor Roosevelt, the U.S. Congress established the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service, or WAVES. The WAVES were signed into law by President Franklin D. Roosevelt on July 30th, 1942. Mildred McAfee took a leave of absence from Wellesley College and was commissioned as a lieutenant commander on August 3, 1942, in the Naval Reserve. She became the first female commissioned officer in the Navy and was chosen to be the first director of the WAVES. As director of the newly formed WAVES, one of McAfee's goals was change. During her tenure as director, McAfee fought for the members of the WAVES to have the same benefits and pay rates as their male counterparts. We hope that many thousands more will join the Navy to volunteer their services as this second year goes by, encouraged by their parents, their husbands, their fiancés, their friends to do their part to help the Navy help the nation to win the war and prepare for peace. McAfee's efforts were successful, and on November 9, 1943, Public Law 183 went into effect, which entitled all members of the Women's Reserve to the same benefits as male service members. The new law also allotted for one officer to hold the rank of captain in the Women's Reserve. Later, in November of 1943, McAfee was promoted to captain. Captain McAfee continued to work for change while serving as the director of the WAVES. She was successful in integrating African-American women into the Naval Reserve Officer Corps, and she made it possible for them to serve in many different jobs. McAfee ensured that African-American females would receive the same treatment as the rest of the WAVES. At the peak of World War II, McAfee was in command of 86,000 waves, including more than 8,000 female officers and 75,000 enlisted personnel. McAfee received the Distinguished Service Medal from Secretary of the Navy James Forrestal on November 7, 1945, for her leadership of the waves. She was the first woman to receive this recognition. In 1946, McAfee resigned her commission and returned to Wellesley College. McAfee married Reverend Dr. Douglas Horton and continued to work in an administrative capacity at Wellesley College until her retirement in 1948. After retiring from the college, Mildred McAfee Horton devoted her life to working in religion. She worked with her husband in civic projects as well as at their church. She became a leader in social reform and education with an emphasis on religion bridging the gap between different faiths. For her achievements in education and religion, she received 31 honorary degrees. Mildred McAfee Horton died on September 2, 1994, in Berlin, New Hampshire.